<laughs> I'm literally so freaking overwhelmed. Like, I feel like this day has been going on forever and it's just going by so slow. I feel like I'm doing everything so slow. And I feel like the reason if everything feels like it's going so slow is because the second I am like cleaning something, it's like something else is out of order. It's like never ending. And like I want to cook. And it's like I know that it's just going to be such a slow ass process cooking, cleaning up. Well, then I got to change one of them. Then one of them is crying. Like, I'm just so freaking annoyed right now. I'm trying to be grateful, but I'm just fucking annoyed. I literally have just put Max in there because, like, it's just too much. Here, they're asking for this, walking barefooted, takes her socks off, put them on. Now she's in the shower. Now she's doing this. Now she spilled water on her shirt. Now I gotta change her shirt. Then the baby. The baby's just the baby. But, yeah, I'm just so annoyed. I'm not going to keep talking about it because I get more worked up, but I'm very much annoyed and I hope God will enlighten me in these next couple moments because I'm very overwhelmed right now. I think part of the reason too why I'm overwhelmed is because God, I literally have a fucking headache. Like, I literally, I literally don't even have a routine. <laughs> like, I just feel like my life is so messy. I get woken up by a baby and just immediately have to do things for the kids. Like, I don't have no sort of, like, routine. Like, I used to take my vitamins. I used to, like, make myself, like, a hot cup of water, have breakfast. And now I just feel like I'm just fucking like, being thrown all over the fucking place. Like, I literally, like, I have to just do things as soon as I think of it because I know I'm not going to do it later. And then that third stress, too, it's, like, trying to... Do what you're already doing and then do whatever you're thinking of. I am so stressed. I am so Bumble. I don't know. I feel like God is telling me to get off Bumble. But Bumble has been kind of keeping me like balanced. It's nice knowing that men are interested in me. Versus when I didn't have Bumble and I was just kind of like stressed about my baby daddy. Max's dad. So now I kind of feel like the ball's in my core. I'm in control. If something doesn't work out with someone, there's someone else. So I like that feeling. I'm obviously going to keep it because I, I like this feeling. I'm going to keep rolling with it. I don't know. I did this thing too where I paid for unlimited swipes and I think that was just way too much. Okay, so I basically changed my bio. You guys have probably saw my last vlog. I'll put it here. I changed my bio to like say only businessmen. Like I don't want no 9 to 5 workers. And so for a while I wasn't matching with anyone. And I was just kind of like, oh, well, dang, like maybe they're like, who does this you know, girl think she is? Woman think she is? So because I had already paid for the limited swipe, I was like, oh, well, no one's swiping on me. I'm just going to keep swiping until I get a match. And I did that for a while, and then, like, the next day, I had, like, a whole bunch of matches. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, like, a couple days, wait for, like, because Bumble, like, the messages, the message threads die if you don't respond after, like, 24 hours, depending, yeah. If you don't respond, if you match, but don't respond for the last, like, 24 hours, you can extend it, but I don't. So I'm going to wait for all these men to clear out because I, I do kind of like that I swept through and I can kind of just go and change off their looks. And yeah, none of them have caught my eyes. So what I'm going to start doing is just let these group of men just kind of like fade away. 
And then in a couple of days, I'm gonna start swiping intentionally. I'm gonna limit my swiping time to like 10 minutes. What I usually do is like, say it's like 2.43, like what it just was. I'll swipe for until 2.50, you know what I mean? So I'll give myself five to 10 minutes to just swipe. Well, that's what I'm starting to do. Cause I, if not, I'll just be swiping endlessly. And then I also need to change my notifications to just when I get messages. Cause it'll tell me when people have matched. I'm like, I don't give a fuck if someone's matched with me. Um, yeah, so that's been stressing me out too. And I don't know, I, I kind of started talking to this one guy. His name is Cody. And I like that he says he owns two businesses. He has rental properties. But I don't know, I feel like as soon as I started talking about like my mom, content creator life, like how two kids, I'm a single mom, blah, blah, blah. I feel like the interest kind of faded. So that's the thing too. I didn't want to wait till we like start talking to tell him. It's just like the conversation just kind of led into me telling him I had kids and like other guys too. Like they're like, what are you doing? I'm like editing a video. What's your video about? Like, oh, mom content. And I was like, oh, are you making mom content? So it's like, I have to just, I have to just kind of eventually say I have kids, which I have on my thing, but I want kids. I have kids and want more. But yeah guys, so for those of you who don't know, I have been studying heavily as much as I can, when I can, on multifamily real estate, which is apartments. And that's ultimately what I want to do, event, invest in apartments. And so I kind of want to meet like-minded men. I know in order for me to meet like-minded men, I need to like join like real estate clubs. Grant Cardone has a real estate club. It's like 25,000, so obviously I can't join that. But I know there is a community and like a network community of men or people in general that invest in multifamily specifically. And so, I don't know. I don't know if I should just kind of wait until I kind of get my life in order and then become a part of those clubs and then kind of mingle and like see if, you know, I can meet my husband potentially. Or if on the journey there, like for example, Cody, he's not into multifamily, but he has single, um, single family homes. So I don't know, should I just kick it with Cody or like, you know, men around his like caliber until I kind of level up? Cause like he seems responsible. He seems like a good guy, obviously. Like, you know what I mean? I get good vibes from him. He like, I don't know, just overall, like he was typing me like really like, well detailed, informed, long messages, like really well thought of. So I'm like, clearly, you know, he likes me right next. You know, not likes me, but you know, he's somewhat sort of interested in me. So I don't mind having a baby by someone like that. So I don't know, should I just keep having babies by like successful men until I find my husband? Cause I'm not trying to not have kids until I find my husband, you know, that could be like five years from now. I know any trust in God. But like, what if this is part of the process, God? Oh my God. Every time I have a thought, it gets answered. And I don't know if it's God. Like right now, I was like, what did I say? Like, for example, if I'm like, yeah, um, should I be dating Cody? I'll immediately have a thought that says no. <laughs> is that God? Or is that just... No, that's not true. Because I could say something really off the wall. And that's not true. So yeah, I don't know, should I just keep having like successful men's babies until I find my husband? Because I don't feel like waiting to just give one man all my kids. I just, I, I, I like having a lot of kids. But even more importantly, I want to have kids. I'm going to have to wear a dress. I like, I want my kids to have like, well off fathers, you know what I mean? My rest, Jeff, Max is dead as kind of Jet's dad. I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. But now my my um. But now my standards have obviously risen, and so I wouldn't mind having kids with someone, even if we're not married, if they're like well off and successful in some sort of way. Cause my thing is I don't want to just keep having kids with like bums. I don't mind having kids with someone that's like doing well for themselves, even if we're not gonna like get married. So yeah, we'll see how things go with Cody. Um, I wouldn't mind having his babies considering he has like no STDs and like no genetic disorders in his family. Um, but yeah, that's the conversation for another day, obviously. We have... Okay, I need to start cooking. 
I asked him, I don't know, I mean, we were just like typing so much and I was like, can you call me? I said that yesterday, I was like, can you call me? Guys, I literally have to vent. Okay, so my aunt Liliana is in town and she's a really nice lady. Um, and she kind of gives like motherly advice, but like these past couple days, I've just been like not fucking with it. <sighs> So basically she, let's just start off. Basically my issue with her is that she gives advice but doesn't follow her own advice. She's a hypocrite. So let's start off. It started off with her telling me, and she'll tell me what to do as if like we're close, you know what I mean? Like she'll tell me to get on birth control. She tells me, no, she was like, you need to get on birth control. Like she was like pounding in my freaking head, like get on birth control, get on birth control. And I'm just like, that's none of your business, you know what I mean? But like, I didn't want to be rude. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'll keep it in the back of my mind. I'm not going to get on birth control, but if I find a good man, even if we're not married, like I will have his babies, you know? So that was the first thing. But she wasn't too hypocritical about that. But let's get into this. So the dating part, since we're talking about dating, this is how she's a hypocrite. She was like, yeah, she's Colombian, obviously. She's like, yeah, in my, on my land, she was like, in mi tierra, the women, the men, like, go to the women first, and the women ask, I'm sorry, the men ask, are the ones that talk about marriage first. And I was like, oh, okay, like, that bitch, like, she was married for a while, but her husband cheated on her, like, like, later on in their marriage. And so I'm like, Hmm. As soon as I heard he cheated on her, I was kind of like, oh. And then I kind of see the way she lives. Oh my god, I'm talking shit about her. Um, if she ever sees this, I'm so sorry, but like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Give me your bottle so I can start cooking. That was your question.
Are you struggling with fishy discharge? Does your vagina feel a little off? Does it smell a little off no matter how many times you wipe? No matter what you do, no matter what you put in, no matter what you use to clean it out, it just, the smell does not go away. Well, I think you may have bacterial vaginosis. You know how I know? Because I've suffered with it for like most of my adult life, <laughs> unfortunately. But I'm here with good news. If you are struggling, you don't have to struggle anymore, guys. Down um, below this video, I have a link to my step-by-step -step course where I show you exactly how I myself have, you right? Where I show you step-by-step -step what I do to get rid of my bacterial vaginosis. Literally, like the course is like five minutes, guys. I wanna warn you, I made the video with this phone. So the quality may not be there, but that's besides the point. The video is very informative. Um, it's a little kind of ghetto in my words, like, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's straight to the point. I show you exactly what I do. It's taken me years to figure out the simple way of just clearing out your BV. Your BV. Um, and yeah, it works. It's effective. Once it's gone, it's gone. I have a video if you guys want to check it out. Like just search in my videos, like bacterial vaginosis. I show you what to not do so it doesn't come back. But granted, if you do, if you don't do what you're not supposed to do then it won't come back and you will be BV free. And that's how I've been. I really wanna share this with you guys. Um, the course is $10,997. I know it's a lot of money. Granted, it's really not um, to some it may be, but yeah, in the video I get a little personal and it's taken me a long time to get this information guys. So that's why it's a little bit, you know, on the high end, but it's definitely worth it. If you like stress, if you have, um, you have something to do if you gotta like sleep with your man tonight or you know you just like have to get on with your life and you don't want to like leave the house smelling like a fish well then buy my course and it'll literally be gone and you can like get ready and leave and you'll be good to go so yeah i hope you take advantage of this opportunity um i was thinking about making a facebook group but i'm not sure yet but you can i do have my number once you purchase the course i do have my i think i need to update it because i changed my number I do have my number, I need to take a moment to know. I have my number, so if you wanna text me, if you have any questions, or you wanna like quickly call me, we can schedule up something. Um, if you have like, you know, you shouldn't have any issues, it's really straightforward, but yeah. I'm gonna leave you with that, and I hope you guys um, um, enjoy the rest of the video, bye. Bye.
빨리 뛰어 10 minutos. Ay, Dios mío, yo no sé. Arreglé, pero es que en realidad lo que pesa es lo que llevo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Las cosas que no me pueden sacar de la maleta. Ya. Yo sé que está así. <risa> Ella decorando. Ah, es que está filmando. Uh -huh. Sí, decorando también. Yo tengo que visitar a la mamá. ¿Cómo? Él ayuda a
que yo creo que es la los jabones, los jabones son los jabones. Sí. Y eso no lo puedo llevar en la mano.
Cortando la debajo. Mami. Ma. Tienes que cortar. No, mamá. Se puede ayudar. Tío. Tío. Estás cocinando. Tía. Cortando abajo. Uy, qué bueno que está cocinando la niña. Mira, mira, mira. Ay. Mañana. Ya. No más algo, bebé.
bebe? Maxi! Mama, a regalo de chora Maxi! Y ahora, oh. ¿Dónde está el alcohol? Este es el mío, que yo se lo presté anoche. El tuyo de esto. Yo se limpié y ahí veo otra agua. Este lleva la de ¿Cuánto te está pesando? 70 kilos. ¿Cómo? A lo que le estoy diciendo. Pero es que como no, papito, si me hagan, papá. Sí, sí. Ah, venga, ¿cómo pesa? Doy de calentos. Diga, chucho. Maxi, diga, chucho. No, 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 no. Uy, no, este piso es muy frío, ¿no? La maleta allí y los huevos tienen que quedar en el aire. No, ahí no ve los números. Tiene que estar más atrás.
Jets, 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 Jets. There's a
I just am not of energy.
Max, come lay down. Stop wandering all over the dang house.